When people stare so hard at something to analyze the sharpness, they're often, they can't see the forest for the trees. I like to think I'm not one of those people, but to be competent, I think you should know the limitations of your equipment and the limitations of what you could produce, and you should be able to produce what is the limitations of your equipment. Mirror slap is something you may have experienced or read about. I've set up a situation here to exaggerate an extreme case of mirror slap. Uh, I have a medium weight tripod with the uh, center post extended further than ideal. This is an RB67, a medium format film camera. Cameras like this suffer a more severe mirror slap on account that the mirror is very large. Now I've, with a rubber band, I've attached some, a garden pointer. The extension will amplify the shake visibly and I've propped it up against a ruler. And I'll just move the camera, we'll get a, wait, I'll, sh I'll show you what the test is gonna be. It's cocked. It's a one second exposure. But is that a lot of movement or is that acceptable? If this point here was the focusing distance of the camera and it was producing a one-to-one -one magnification on the film and the movement here was a tenth of a millimeter, because it's one-to-one, -one, that would make one tenth of a millimeter of movement over the negative. And then if you were to do a 60 by 70 centimeter small poster, somewhere around A2, to 10 times enlargement of a tenth of a millimeter, you would get an entire millimeter of blur and that would look pretty soft. Okay, so I've, I've had to add a, a weight to the tripod so it won't tip. This center post is unbalanced. I've extended one of the legs out further, possibly to invite a bit more bounce in it. And then I've tilted the camera down and I've, I've realigned it. Although I think, I think this has become like a, a stabbing motion. So really what I need is a, a right angle on that and a ruler going this way, but we should, if it's better or worse, we should be able to see it. This is my heaviest tripod. It's the Manfrotto 55 model or something. It's got a large head, model 136, hex plate. Uh, the center column is bottomed out. Everything's done up nice to t and tight. The tripod is weighted. 